Today's video is a bit odd, but I hope someone out there will find this interesting. We're going to look at the process of dyeing fight stick parts so we can turn this into this. Let's get started. I first saw user Raging Sea Turtle showcasing lots of different dyed parts, so I had to go learn all about it. There's actually a decent number of fight stick components which will take dye, so if you've got a windowed bottom in your fight stick, or you just want to try something new with your next build, this might be for you. A lot of these dye recipes are centered around these inexpensive synthetic fiber dyes. I figured three bottles of dye more was enough for this video because you can utilize different recipes and mixtures to dial in your ideal shade. Even the time spent soaking will change how saturated your colors get. Before fully committing to the parts, I grabbed some buttons to test. You'll also need an old pot or pan, a heat source, some gloves, and some tongs. Then it's time. We'll try this process on some auto DIY gates, an OSBMX button housing and cap, and a 3D printed flat box enclosure. We'll also try some different recipes in different soak lengths, 5, 10, and 15 minutes. There are tons of different recipes on this website. Time to start! The del run of these gates soaked very well, and you could leave them in there up to the full 15 if you wanted. I removed all of these ones after 5 minutes because they seemed plenty saturated. I pulled the 3D printed OSBMX button components after less than a minute. I was worried that any longer and the thinner material would start to deform. It soaked up plenty of dye in that time though. The flat box enclosure is 3D printed. I was hopeful that if the 3D printed buttons worked, then this might also be an option for someone who only had white 3D printer filament but also wanted vibrant flat box enclosures. However, this one was a failure. It looks like it'll take dye just fine, but the heat warped the panels almost immediately. I fished both halves out after about 30 seconds, but the damage was already done. I think they will take dye, but you'll likely have to use some sort of process which doesn't involve heating, or utilize something which locks it in place so it can't deform easily. Hey, now we know. Here are the saturation levels based on the amount of time spent soaking. The OSBMX button turned out really well. But the biggest winners were these gates. I thought they all looked very vibrant and I could see them working well on certain builds. Anyway, there are tons of different recipes and maybe one of you will hit on something wild. Let me know in the comments if you can think of some other cool parts to test. And thanks to Raging Sea Turtle for the inspiration. Support your locals and I'll see you next time.